Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to hop on here and do a quick, um, well, maybe not so quick, but do a make ahead lunch video for you all. I'm getting ready to fix my lunch right now and it made me realize that it's gonna be so much quicker if I have lunches ready in the morning. Um, my eight year old, he gets free lunch, but he takes his lunch to school every day. Um, my other half works and he takes his lunch and I stay, from, stay home slash work from home. Um, so, you know, it takes some of the guesswork out for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started and make some of these lunches for you. Most are just sandwich or sandwich type. There's maybe one or two that requires um, oven time. But, it's really nothing major. So, um, come along for the ride. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and make my sandwich first. Um, just so I can get my lunch out of the way for today. So it's just a basic ham sandwich. Um, I bought this ham at Kroger on their deli, um, up by their, I guess, bakery deli wall. Um, I don't remember the price, but it's actually been really good. So I've already got my lettuce and tomato out on my plate. And I've got, I'm only gonna have one piece. There's three total, and I want to save some for a couple of these. Um, and guys, why am I just now discovering Duke's mayonnaise? I mean, I'm kind of from the South, kind of not. You know, Kentucky, we're not really considered Southern, but we kind of are. And I've never had Duke's mayonnaise in my life that I know of. So, I went and ate at Bo's the other day, and I had their grilled chicken sandwich, and it was amazing. And the mayonnaise they used on it was not like any mayonnaise I had tasted before, and I'm about 99% sure that it was Duke's mayonnaise that they used. And yes, I put my mayonnaise straight on my meat. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, back to the Duke's. Uh, I'm like 99% sure it was the Duke's mayonnaise because I, it was just out of this world just combined with, you know, the bun and everything else. So, yeah. Um, I went and grabbed some Duke's at Walmart and paid way more than what I would normally pay for mayonnaise. And I didn't need it because I had plenty of other mayonnaise. But, I mean, it, it was worth it. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all don't mind me eating. But yeah, this is good. It's already like 12.45 and I haven't had lunch yet. So. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with something that has to go in the oven. But this is like my kid's favorite. So. I'm not going to make very many because I'm gonna have to freeze them and I don't have a lot of room in my freezer right now. But I'll probably make more next week like while the kids are on Thanksgiving break so that they'll have a quick like go-to snack or something in, in the freezer that I don't have to make. Um, okay, off camera, I'm wiping off my knife. I use that to slice my tomato with. But these are pizza bagels and bear with me guys just a second i'll be right back i forgot my pizza y'all i'm in the process of editing this video and my son would kill me if i did not correct this i call him an eight year old he is 10 he just turned 10 in october and i have no idea why i'm always making him younger than what he is i guess because he's my baby so my son is not eight he is 10 he takes his lunch to school he is in fourth grade there, I fixed it. Y'all didn't see this because I did it off camera. But I was trying to cut back on time. So, off camera, I went ahead and um, slid open the rest of the bagels. Um, and I went and got my pizza sauce. This is from the Dollar Tree. So, I try and get their pizza sauce whenever I can. And then these bagels are just the mini bagels from Aldi. Mm. But you just put, I mean, not even, depends on the size of your spoon, but... Since these are the mini bagels and they have, you know, the holes in them, make sure you get the fresh bagels because I've had these for 
a little bit now. I put them in my freezer to freeze and I took them out and you know, they're, they kind of lost a bit of their consistency, but they're still good. But anyway, they, um, they don't come apart as easy when they're not fresh, like a hundred percent fresh. So you might, you know, just buy them and then a day or two later do this. Um, but with this one, I'm going to have to be careful because it's already split in half. So I just try to um, spoon the sauce on. I hope y'all can see me like my tripod. I don't know what happened to it. the one that I have that has a ring light is not tall enough for me to do this type of video up on the counter. And then my other one, just a basic tripod broke. So I have y'all propped up on some boxes. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a professional YouTuber here. So work with what I got. Uh, see, this one has a big hole in the center. Um, so I'm just going to put as much pizza sauce on here as I can get, like around the bagel. Same with this one. This one broke when I was trying to do it. So it's going to be enough anyway. By the time I get all the pepperoni and the cheese on it, it's not going to matter. This one could use a little bit more though, and so could this one. It's just the thing, it just, it's personal preference on how much sauce you want. Like me, I have GI issues. Um, red sauce really is not the best for me to put in my body. So I probably won't consume any of these. If I do, it'll be one of the ones with little to no sauce. Uh, but I have this mozzarella that I got at Kroger on sale. Um, so, you guys see okay? Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this a little bit closer to the camera. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mozzarella on each one. And you know, just personal preference on how much cheese you want. But I already had my oven preheated to 350. Um, depending on the strength of your oven, you know, you could do 425 and all that. I just prefer to do it at 350 um, just for them to not burn. See this one that's got the holes in it? I don't know how well that's going to work out, but these are pretty good. Okay. And you can layer it with whatever toppings you want. Um, I've put like crumbled bacon on it before and it's turned out really well. I don't have many pepperonis. These are the only pepperonis I have. They're from Walmart. And I've done this with the mini pepperonis and it, it works really well too. These are, they're not huge, but they're not like the small minis. And there's my oven. So you just put as many on there as you'd like. Like this one has the hole in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with pepperoni. And then I'm probably going to put one on each just because the pepperonis are pretty big. All right. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more cheese like on top of this one. And right here. Have you all ever done the um, make your own pizzas? We have that maybe once a month here at home. I'll buy the pizza crust from Dollar Tree. And we'll just do whatever, you know, ingredients everyone wants. And have a make your own pizza night. Sorry for the noise, guys. But um, my big baking sheet is dirty because I made biscuits this morning. So I have this round pizza one. Um, that I'm going to use. I don't know if you're focused. There we go. This round pizza pan. So I'm just going to put them on this. And I only made six. And just try to space them out the best way you can. Just so they're not really touching each other. Okay. So we have six right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. I have my oven on 350. And we're gonna start with eight minutes. Um, and I'm, I'll check them at eight and see, you know, if they need any more time after that. All right, guys. So the next one I'm gonna make is on, where is it? These big bagels. I wish I had some sausage patties, but I went to two stores over the weekend and they were out. Because I made a sausage egg bagel not too long ago and it was amazing. So, we have these bagels from Aldi. And I'm only going to do a couple. Um, we only have a family of four. And sometimes I'll make, you know, more than what we need. And they end up staying in the freezer a lot longer than they should. And I need that space in the freezer right now for the holidays. So, I'm just going to make a few sandwiches just to get us through the week. So, I'm going to do a ham and cheese bagel with this one. I'm not going to put any mayonnaise or anything on them right now. Um, it's because I don't want them getting soggy, but we'll add that the morning of. But here's my cheese. This container is so cute, guys. Like, I feel like I should save it and, you know, wash it out and use it to put leftovers in, but not necessarily. So you can do these with the mini bagels as well. Um, but we have a piece here. And a piece here. And I was going to do a ham and cheese sandwich. Um, but I feel like that's just. You know it's so plain. And sometimes they like. Different types of sandwiches in their lunch. So right now we have the ham and cheese bagel. Um, I could add. A little of the Dukes on there. I'm not sure. But I'll just let them wait. Because my son does not like mayonnaise. So. There we go. Just ham and cheese bagel. I mean, it takes nothing. It looks good. It looks really, really good. So they can put whatever toppings they want on these. Um, the day of. I'm just gonna put them all on a plate right now. And then I'll like saran wrap them and stick them in the fridge after I'm finished filming. Is I bought this big pack of turkey at Costco um, Saturday. And, I mean, it was only like 11 or $12, so it's pretty good. We just don't normally go through that much lunch meat. Unless it's already, like, I guess made up and ready to go. So, I'm going to open one of these packs. And we're going to do... These will probably be my lunch. For the rest of the week. Oh, we will see. I'm going to do like a turkey wrap. I have shredded lettuce that I will add to it. Um, like the day that I get ready to eat it. But I have these. I didn't even show you the package. These tortillas that I got at Dollar Tree. You get like 12 in here. Which is not bad for a dollar. They're pretty good size. Um. I'm going to go ahead and try it with the mayonnaise. I don't know if it's going to be soggy. But. Alright. Let me see what's going to happen here. I'm not a mustard person. I mean you can do this with mustard. Mayonnaise. Whatever you want. But. I'm not the mustard person. So. I'm using the mayonnaise. And like I said, I'm using Dukes. I'm going to give it a whirl, you know, for about a week or so. And see how I like it. Alright, I'm going to take my cheese. And get that open and ready. And a couple pieces of turkey. Add whatever toppings you want. You know, if you 
if you're not a turkey eater, if you have like the chicken, I bet roasted chicken would be really good or the grilled chicken breast. I'll just lay out a few pieces. These are whole pieces, but I like to kind of tear mine apart a little bit. Just so I can, I feel like I'm getting more in different spots that way. All right, here's my cheese. And then I don't like a ton of cheese on mine. So I'm gonna roll it. Never been good with like rolling these things either. You can do shredded cheese as well, which is probably would have been a better option for me, but I don't have any yellow shredded cheese. I only have mozzarella, and I did not want mozzarella with my turkey. So, I have that. There you go. Just a little turkey wrap. Um, I might make some scrambled eggs up tomorrow and make a couple of these, like, breakfast wraps. But I'm just giving you guys some ideas of the things that you can do. You know, if it, especially if it's stuff that you already have around the house, so you don't have to use a lot of time and a lot of time and effort in these lunches. Um, that's the only wrap I'm doing for now. I have one more to show you. I'm gonna have to pause you guys because I don't have the ingredients I need for this one out, and I need to clean up. Need to look at this. <laughs> I definitely need to clean this up. So while we it. were off camera, our Mini pizzas got done. So they look amazing. I love them. I'm going to sit them off to the side um, and wait for them to cool and then I'll probably shrink wrap them. Or um, we can have a couple for an after school snack when my son gets home. This next one is just everybody's favorite PB and J sandwich. But we're going to do an uncrustable. So I did buy this at a yard sale i got it for like two dollars and it is whoa, it is very loud um if you can see it's actually pampered chef i have no idea where they sell these originally i'm thinking amazon maybe and pampered chef but i'm a crunchy peanut butter person and a lot of people in the house are creamy peanut butter persons people so i'm probably gonna do one of both just to show you guys you know the ideas um yeah, but anyway, I don't I don't pay the price for Uncrustables. It has to be like coupon and sale. I just make them myself. I will tell you it's better. I have Aldi bread and that's all I have. But it is better when you have the nicer, thicker bread. Because the Uncrustable cutter cuts a lot better, of course, on the nicer bread. I'm going to go ahead and start with this crunchy peanut butter. And it just doesn't spread well on this cheap bread either. But I'm telling you, if you guys want to do this stuff, invest in good bread. I mean, it's, I was at Costco over the weekend and I should have just went ahead and bought the better bread while I was there. And I didn't think about it until I got to Aldi and realized that I was pretty much out of bread at home. Every now and then you will also find good name brand bread at Dollar Tree. So if you see that there grab it. I used to get butternut bread there all the time and it seems to me like lately they stopped having butternut bread. So I don't know what the deal is there. Um, I have this jelly that's almost empty. I'm going to save that one and I'm going to wait and use that um, on something else. But I'm going to try this Smucker Squeeze Jelly. This was on the back to school promotions that um uh, and I bought it, was having, so I got it for free, and it's been sitting in my pantry because I haven't needed to use it, but I'm going to go ahead and try, and the expiration date on this is like, if you guys can see it, it's like 2022, so it's good. You see those, you see my little snack over there on the counter? I'm going to point y'all this way. All right, so I got to have my end pieces matching, so I'm going to flip this over. I gotta watch my cat, y'all. He's like a ninja. He will jump up on my counter in a heartbeat. I guess it would help since this is a new jar to go ahead and take off the piece here. All right. Let me go ahead and move you over 
this way, so. All right, see, I like how it squeezes. It's just, it's flat. You don't have to really worry about smoothing it out a whole lot. That's why I wanted to do this. I am gonna smooth it out a little though, just for the purpose of trying to make it neat. And I got all that yummy jelly on the spoon that I will lick off off camera. All right, so my eight-year-old loves the Uncrustables. Um, he he likes crust, so if I just send the, the crust to school with him, he'll go ahead and eat it. But I have this. All right, and we're gonna try. You put the put it on here like this with the top pulled up, and then push down into the sandwich, and then. The way that I use it, I don't even know if it's the right way, but I start to pull up and then, I, well, I try to like push down to seal it, but I'm assuming that it's, yeah, see this one's not very good. You can see when you don't have the best bread, how it comes out. If I would have had better bread, I would have gotten almost that perfect uncrustable see where it's sealed and it looks really good other than the jelly popping out the top so like I said if you're gonna do this I really suggest that you um you invest in the the nice bread don't try and do this with Aldi bread like I did but it's still you know edible so I'm gonna try one again and just do the peanut butter and we'll We'll do the creamy this time. Uh, I may do the jelly. I'm not sure. Well, that's that's the jelly top. Look what I did, y'all. I put the peanut butter top on the jelly. And the jelly top on the peanut butter. Jesus. Oh. You know, they say when you get older, your mind's the first thing to go. I believe it. All right, I'm gonna wipe off my knife. <clears throat> and go ahead and get this creamy peanut butter. Is this Kroger brand? <clears throat> and let's see if this one spreads any better. Yeah, it's much better, I just, Next time I do this video, I will make sure I have better bread for you guys. Just, okay. So anyway, for purposes of the video, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and use this bread. And I think since this, this one spread a little easier, we're gonna go ahead and put the jelly on it. Squirt some out. And then just spread it. And I'm just spreading it here just because of the uncrustable. Let's see if it's gonna work better this time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and push down. I guess it's better to make sure that this is, it's perfectly lined. So see, I have no room up here at the top, no room at the bottom. Yeah, that might make it a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna push down. I kind of rock it back and forth, side to side. And it comes out. There, this one is much better. I guess it's better. If you're gonna use a cheaper bread, just don't put as much jelly in it. I love jelly, but don't put as much jelly in it and then just use the um, creamy peanut butter. So this is kind of what we're looking for. It didn't give me that seal all the way around like I would like, but at the same time, it's partly because of my bread. So yeah, there's our PB&J. Creamy PB and J Uncrustable. Mm.
right y'all all right guys here is our finished products um like i said i didn't do full batches i just you know i was giving you guys ideas of what you can do um but here's our mini pizzas once they've cooled there i'm gonna get ready to wrap them soon get them ready for the kids and then and this is our turkey and cheese wrap roll up um, this can also be just put in the microwave for like 30 seconds if you prefer yours heated and it would melt your cheese. I'm sure it would be amazing. Um, here's our ham and cheese bagel. As I said, just add whatever condiments you want. Mayonnaise, mustard, um, personal preference. But if you're going to freeze them, I'd recommend that you add the condiments the day of so that they don't get soggy. Here's our... First, peanut butter and jelly encrustable with a ton of jelly and with crunchy peanut butter. This one, we'll call it the exploded one. So, it'll get eaten. And then here is our actual PB&J encrustable that came out like perfect. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. That I've given you some ideas on, you know, little quick, af maybe after school meals that you can have um, ready for the kids when they get home. Or, you know, maybe you can take for your lunch, your kids can take for their lunch, put it in the lunchbox. Um, so yeah, but thanks y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And if you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know. That way I can do a bunch more of these videos. I love doing these.